Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the product life cycle. What is this? If when a product comes to a market, it has undergone the four stages that is introduction stage, growth stage, maturity or the stabilization stage and decline stage. Consider a product arriving to a market it in introductory stage, the, its sales volume is very less. But in the growth stage, its sales volume is increasing a little bit. In the maturity stage, it performs a consistent increasing or a stabilizing performance. And finally, in the decline stage, the its price or annual sales volume is decreasing uh, at a smaller rate and finally to the zero. So let's discuss in this video about this product life cycle and its stages. First of all, introduction stage. If a product is introduced into the market initially, it needs a promotion or the it should have a consumer awareness so that only the consumer can identify the product and buy for the first time. In this, a huge amount of money is spent for the promotion itself because it should reach the customers throughout the entire region so that they have a first impression of the customers and if the product is good the customers will buy at a regular basis otherwise the customer will not buy the, that product so in this process it tries to impress the quality by only having the limited options such as uh, one flavor and uh, one variety if you want to uh, produce a, a juice uh, the company sells only the one flavor or one variety of juice only because it is a testing process whether the product is useful or helpful to the customers or otherwise it will need a, a improvement then and the price the price plays a major role in the new product because the, if the price will be low the customers uh, buy that product because uh, whether it is a new product the customers see only the price of the product if it is of less amount the pro the customers can try that product for the first time and if they like it they enjoy it and they buy in a regular basis some companies use a skimming strategy that the pri the pricing the pricing the product high in the beginning to try and recover the uh, development cost because the manufacturing company I uh, invest a lot of money for the uh, manufacturing a product so that first of all they increase the uh, pricing of the product but the increase in price is not aware for the customers because the new product uh, coming to the market cannot um, cannot be known by the customer because the customer think okay it is of uh, good quality so that only they have uh, set a price to a high rate so customers do not really have an expectation at this point so they do not uh, know whether the price is too high or too low place if the fruit juice is available at only one location is not a good point to buy that product it should be sell at the most outlet points so that various regions uh, the people can uh, go through that uh, store or a point so that they can get the uh, fruit juice or something else so that place uh, takes place a major point promotion lots of money spent on the advertising promotional tools hope to create primary demand get consumer to want product class a good product uh, needs a promotion then uh, growth stage in the growth stage in the primary goal is to stress how different is the product will differ from the other company brand or product so if the product is of unique the customers buy that product and the growth is rapidly increasing in this stage competitors begin appearing so that the growth is also increasing because many new people are trying your product and because of the repeat purchases and product improvement should be made in this stage 
in this stage the flavors or varieties are increased and attractive pricings are um, imparted on the particular product then this this what the price more aggressive pricing because there is an increased competition so if you want to survive in the market the pricing should be less so that more customers get attracted towards the product then place want to get a lot of distribution opportunities so that the promotion um, or the shelf space in the market to be more so that a uh, huge amount of products can be stored at that point so that customers can easily get that product at ease then maturity stage the goal is to maintain the loyalty or brand the quality if you perform uh, in a good manner that is a uh, producing the only good quality product products uh, customers have a uh, thinking about that this company is selling only the good quality products so have so we have to buy products only from that company so that it will be reliable and competition is still greater in this type of stage maturity stage and most consumers that are going to purchase product that have and are either repeat customers some others will not buy again then product sales are increasing but at a decreasing rate the profit is going to decrease in the stage and different elements to the product the changing the wrappers uh, color colorful bottles colorful caps attractive pricing or to be maintained pricing the competition begins so prices are still lower than the introductory stage so that customers and competitions will be um, minimized or optimized then decline stage price want to continue to be profitable but will not obtain major profits the profits will be even less in this decline stage and fewer in number promotion not a lot of promotion occurring in this stage so these are all the four stages that a product has to overcome in the market so that it can withstand in the market so that the company will get a higher profit so this is the details about the product life cycle and its stages friends so if you like this video put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching